Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we got a new disc and that is the Beast. I'm out here doing three of them today. Uh, I'm in a new spot. It's called Winds of Westover. Not a lot of people in the area like this spot because there's no tee pads, but I don't really care. The it, It's, it's kind of like a game. Like, you know, if the gameplay is good, it doesn't matter about the graphics. This is how this place is. There's a bunch of different varieties of shots, which a lot of courses out here don't have. Uh, it's kind of sad, but this place has a very good variety of shots. Uh, as you can tell, it's nice and open, but there are some cool wooden shots. Wooden. Why do I say that? I said that last video, I think. Wooded shots. I haven't been posting for a while because I've had to get a full-time job. Yay. But since my last video, I have got a channel sponsor. They're going to be sponsoring all the videos. And hopefully, maybe sometime soon, we can do some merch giveaways along with some disc giveaways. They are called the Disc Golf Dudes. I don't know if you can see the, the words on there, but it says, Beware Distance Drivers. It says Disc Golf Dudes, and then they got the logo on the back. It looks awesome. Uh, really cool guys. Go over and check out discgolfdudes.com if you want to get some new merch. They have some funny stuff. They're adding new stuff all the time. Tell them Steven sent you. All right, so now I now have a catch cam. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's a great camera. Um, Canon uh, M50 Mark II if you want to know specifics. But yes, now I have two shots. Uh, so I don't have to throw it coming back so you can see how it flies. I can just throw it three times and be done. So these are going to be quicker videos. Hope you like it. Now for the Champion Beast. All right. So the Beast is a 10.5 negative 2.2. So this is a good, I would call it a fairway driver. Some may call it a distance driver. I think it's a fairway driver. It says distance driver, but... 10 is right there between like the distance driver and the fairway driver. I don't know. I don't know specifics. But I have my catch cam about 275, 300 feet away. So sorry if I don't set that up the right way. Uh, it's the first time I'm kind of using a catch cam. So I'm going to throw towards that direction. So let's do it. As you can see, it's way over there. See how way hey, that's how far I am. You probably can't tell from the video, but as you know how these go, first one I'm gonna put on hyzer, show you how it flies. Hopefully I don't hit my camera. That would not be very cool. All right, went a pretty good distance. Hey. I'll just use this camera to throw back. This is awesome. This is perfect. All right, now I'm gonna throw it back flat. So really I'm using it as both catch cams. I don't know. Oh yeah, look at that, nose down. Don't hit that camera. Hey, that one bounced off my bag. <laughs> There's going to be some weird editing, that's for sure. Well, this landed in a convenient spot. <laughs> I rolled up and hit my uh, my bag. I'm really liking having two cameras. This is great. I wonder how good easy this is going to be to edit. Okay, now Anheuser. I know this one's going over the catch cam, so I'll use as much of that as I can. Oh, my God. I... Oh, grip locked that one so hard. That one didn't go as far as I thought. Anyway, I'll just end it here. That was the beast. I actually found that with no one's name on it in Jonesboro. So, hey, if that's yours, I, I guess you can have it back. I don't know. I uh, can't really prove it. So, yeah. Next up is the Wraith, everyone's favorite. 